I don't know about you, but I have a couple of go-to meals and here are five of them, starting with artichoke loaded potato. So this particular recipe or meal is more like a concept that I have. It's a one bowl filling to have in either potatoes or in a sandwich or why not in a cold pasta salad. Um, I love this because while the potatoes take care of themselves, you just make a filling in one single bowl and that's it. So today I'm using some chickpeas, which I'm mashing up, and this is perfect to bind everything together. I'm also adding some vegan yogurt, vegan mayonnaise, lemon juice, spices. Do not skip the dill, it's delicious in this one. And then we also have the main star of this meal, it's the artichoke. I love artichoke. But you can skip this as well, it's amazing either way. And as you can see, this is a super quick recipe, and now when the potatoes have been microwaved for about 10 15 minutes. I usually roast them the last bit in the oven on the highest heat to get a crispy skin. I had some Spanish tomatoes laying around so I decided to make marinated tomatoes which is just some olive oil, balsamic vinegar, dried basil, salt and some pepper. Okay, so now the potatoes are done and we're just gonna add the filling into the potato and enjoy! During stressful days like mine was today, it is important not to forget about yourself. So if you're struggling and feel like you're losing control, it may help talking to someone. Which brings me to today's sponsor, BetterHelp. I'm very grateful to have them as a long-term sponsor. From my own experience, I know the importance of therapy and mental health. BetterHelp makes it a lot easier to start talking to a therapist because you can do it all from your computer or your phone, video calls, messaging or chat. This way it's also way more comfortable to you. So to get started, you fill out a simple questionnaire and thanks to the 30,000 therapists in their network, BetterHelp matches you with a personalized therapist based on your needs and location. You will get matched with a therapist usually within 48 hours. So if you feel like you need some kind of therapy, try and let BetterHelp connect you with a therapist who will support you from the comfort of your own home. Visit betterhelp.com slash Alexandra Anderson or click the link down below in the description box, which will also give you 10% off your first month. Miso crunch salad or unnourishable as we would call this at home. So I'm gonna make some shredded tofu. You can spice up any old tofu recipe by just shredding it and it will give this interesting texture and yeah, it's a fun way to eat tofu. So just fry it or um, saute it in a dry uh, nonstick pan until it becomes slightly golden and then you can, if you want to, add a splash of oil in the end to get this crispy texture. So I I love nourish bowls like this because I love combining colorful veggies together with grains and top it off with a bomb dressing. It's fun to eat and I feel so alive after it's so satisfying eating lots of colors. So this bomb dressing has ginger in it, garlic cloves, I'm also using white miso paste, maple syrup, lime juice, rice vinegar and some sesame oil which I'm just stirring together until it becomes more thick and not watery so make sure you stir it preferably with a small whisk if you have and now let's assemble this rainbow So when we want something more festive or something more fun to eat, especially when it's weekend or Friday, we usually make this one. It's, um, it's called Loaded Sweet Potatoes and it is delicious.
Asian lentil curry. So the main reason I absolutely love curries, except from that they taste like heaven, is that you can pack in so many veggies and actually the more you have, the better it tastes, at least I think so. And we all love it in our house and we make a curry at least once a week. So this curry base, I used some ginger and garlic and just sauteed that and added some red curry paste along with yellow curry powder. Then I also added in a creamy coconut milk, some water and I'm bringing this to a simmer before I add in the rinsed dry lentils. Um, I love using red lentils in a curry because it makes the curry more thick and creamy. Yeah, and then all of the veggies which barely fit. A hot tip is to use a cheese slicer on red cabbage and you will have those perfect um, red cabbage strings. And add some lime juice to get a vibrant purple color. And yeah, now it's done and it's time to enjoy this beautiful, nourishing, creamy meal. Harissa pasta. I think pasta is on most people's busy day meals list. Um, anyhow, this is a one pot pasta. I'm using a lot of tomatoes and garlic. So I'm just sauteing the garlic first in some oil and then I'm adding the tomatoes. And the important part here is to let the tomatoes saute under a lid so that all of the liquid can come out and make the tomatoes more juicy. All of these recipes plus this one is in my app, the 5 Sec Health app. Just search for the recipe name or filter on pastas and you will find it. So the reason I love making pasta, creamy pastas, is that they're actually really healthy thanks to the cashew nut sauce and then yes whole wheat pasta is also a great food uh, but the cashew nuts gives a uh, lots of vitamins and minerals uh, fiber fat protein i usually have a creamy pasta ready within 15 minutes because i quickly blend the sauce while the pasta is cooking and that's a winning formula on busy days so when the tomatoes are done you want to mash them up so that you get a more tomato saucy consistency and i'm adding some harissa paste tomato paste as well along with some vegetable broth then adding the pasta let it simmer until the pasta is cooked and then when the pasta is done you simply just add the cashew sauce and bring it to a simmer that way the cashew sauce will thicken even more and you will end up with this beautiful thick creamy pasta who doesn't like a creamy pasta today i actually added the harissa paste afterwards because my daughter was also having this pasta and um, so yeah this is also a great meal for toddlers she absolutely loves this one if you're more interested about what she eats as a um, 15 months um, year old uh, you can check out my latest video or check out my ebook plant-based baby led weaning i hope you got some inspiration from this video and i hope we'll see each other in the next one.